When printing to a flexible substrate like fabric, mesh, or banner, the heavy metal loop shaper is used. That is the method that will be seen here. When printing to any other substrate, the light plastic loop shaper is used. This method is the same as the L25500 and can be seen here. To load the take-up reel, begin by highlighting the substrate icon and press OK. Next, select take-up reel and then enable take-up reel. You can either choose to load the take-up reel prior to printing or during the printing process. After making your selection, press OK. The instructions for loading the take-up reel will appear on the printer LCD. Start by lifting up the loading table. Next, unlock the take-up reel and remove the spindle. Lift up the blue lever lock and remove both hubs from the spindle. Insert the spindle into an empty core. Do not replace the blue hubs. Reload the spindle. Then, press the down arrow to advance the substrate to a position where it can be attached to the core. Cutting a half moon shape in the material before attaching it can help it to feed onto the core more evenly. Next, use tape to attach the material to the core. Start by attaching it in the middle and work out from there. Use as much tape as necessary. Then press OK. The printer will then feed out more of the substrate and the next set of instructions will appear on the printer LCD. Insert the loop shaper bar behind the substrate and connect it to the right and left arms. Then lower the loading table. Next, set the winding direction on the take-up reel motor. Position 1 will wind the substrate so that the printed surface will face in. Position 2 will wind it so that the printed surface faces out. After selecting the winding direction, press OK and the process is complete. If you have any questions about the HP L26500, please contact a LexJet customer specialist at 800-453-9538.